Hi! Um, yes, I'd like to place an order, please. Yes, my friends and I, we would like six tacos, six veggie burritos, uh, uh, chips, salsa, um, oh, horchata, um, hey, Kev, uh, what am I forgetting? Wimmy, don't forget my favorite part. Oh, oh, yeah! <gasps> Guacamole! Let's get rolling. Um, here's what I want from you. Can you please share with me a clothing item? There was a man lived in the moon, lived in the moon, lived in the moon. There was a man lived in the moon, his name was Aiken Drum. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle, his name was Aiken Drum. His. Now, what we're going to do is take the ingredients from guacamole and put it in this song. It's so fun because in this song, it's a song from Scotland and the, the clothes are made out of all kinds of things. So uh, I'm gonna change it up right now to say his um, uh, hat is made of avocado. Ready? His hat is made of avocado, avocado, avocado. His hat is made of avocado. His name was Aiken Drum. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle. His name was Aiken Drum. Okay, so I've got the cilantro. Um, I'm thinking, um, oh good, his shorts. Thanks, Sibley. His shorts are made of cilantro, cilantro, cilantro. His shorts are made of cilantro. His name was Aiken Drum. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle, his name was Aiken Drum. Okay, so let's see. Um, avocado, cilantro, lime juice. <laughs> That's gonna be tricky. What should be made out of lime juice for Aiken Drum's? Uh, oh yeah, Brody. What could is uh, what could be made of lime juice? Um, his socks. Oh, I love it. Okay, so friends, pretend you're putting on lime juice socks. Ready? His socks are made of lime juice, of lime juice, of lime juice. His socks are made of lime juice. His name was Aiken Drum. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle. His name was Aiken Drum. Okay. Oh, shoes. Okay, so we've got the avocado. We've got cilantro. We've got lime juice. How about salt? His shoes are made of salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's got a nice sound to it. His shoes are made of salt, of salt, of salt. His shoes are made of salt, and his name was Aiken Drum. He played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. Played upon a ladle, his name was Aiken Drum. <laughs> oh, I hope you're singing along, friends. Let's do one last thing. How about, uh, what did we miss? We got socks, shoes, hat, shorts. I think we did shorts. Did we do a shirt? I don't know if we did a shirt. Well, if we did, it's, no, I don't, yeah, I don't think we did. Okay, his shirt is going to be made of onions, friends, to finish up. Okay, you ready to sing with me? His shirt is made of onions, of onions, of onions. His shirt is made of onions. His name was Aiken Drum. <laughs> that was fun. I got fancy at the end. Well, friends, let's go see what Moby's going to share with us today. Avocados. They are a dark green pear-shaped fruit with a large seed in the middle. Avocados grow on tall trees where it's warm all year round, like in countries of Mexico and Peru and in the United States like California and Hawaii. Often, avocados are mashed up and mixed with lime juice and salt and sometimes other ingredients to make a sauce called guacamole. Mm. Have you ever tried guacamole? Mm, so good. I wonder what avocados with bird seeds taste like. Oh, I could add that to it. I think I will. I can't wait to smush this up later after the show. Well, friends, it's time for today's three-sentence story. Beginning, middle, end. And the three words that come from you, friends.
Nouns? I'm going to write a story. Now, I love nouns. Share with us a person, place, or thing, and I'll do my best to write a story. Now, these are always rough drafts. That's how I get started. In the first sentence, I'll set the scene. In the second sentence, there is a problem. No! But don't worry, friends, because in the third sentence, there is a solution. Ha, ha, ha. That's my favorite part. Now, these stories are often silly. And that's kind of the point. It's just starting by having fun. And sometimes they could be mysterious. They could be action. They could be anything. So in the first sentence, like I said, I'll set the scene. Ha, ha. Sibley. Bench. I love it. Thanks, friend. Okay, bench. Here we go. This morning, I was sitting on a bench, enjoying the clouds floating by. Hmm, that sounds pretty peaceful. Maybe I'm in a park? Who knows where the bench is, right? The picture, the image can tell us where more details are in the image. Okay, so I'm on a bench, and I'm enjoying the clouds going by. Oh, man, it sounds such a lovely start to the story, but oh, no, there's a problem. Oh, oh, oh. avocado tree. No! Okay. Oh, I got, I got the problem. Okay, here we go. I was sitting on a bench this morning watching the clouds float by. I noticed at the avocado tree there were no avocados left. Oh! I planned to make some fresh guacamole, but the avocado tree, all the avocados are gone. They've been eaten. What do I do? How do I make avocado? <laughs> avocado. How do I make guacamole? If there's no avocados. Friends, we need a solution. Oh, ho, 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 book. All right, the solution. I love this. The solution lies in a book. All right, let me think. Okay, 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 here we go. I was sitting on a bench looking up and watching the clouds float by. I noticed in the avocado tree the avocados were gone. To make my guacamole today, I found my magic book and poof, out came delicious guacamole. Ha 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 ha! Friends, do you have one of those magic books? Ho 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 ho! They can make anything. Now, some of these stories, when the solutions get solved, is very, very tangible, like real life. Sometimes it's just silly. And in this case, it was a magic, a magic book that poof! Made guacamole. Friends, let's go to the Granville Wimage Lab to see what Brody's been doing creating today's Wimage. Hi, Brody. Hi, Wimmy. Hi, friends. Hey, Wimmy, how much yeah. guacamole have you uh, had this year? Ooh, let me think this through. How many pounds of guacamole? Okay, well, I had some last week. And I had some three, two weeks ago. And then on my sandwich, I had then. And for breakfast. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm ta- okay, I gotta, I'm got to. i going to generalize. I think in forms of pounds, I really like guacamole. So I think I've had 20 pounds. Wait, how well, ma- uh, the average person usually has eight pounds a year. That makes sense because when it comes to guacamole, I tell you, I'm not average. I I excel with guacamole. <laughs> I love it. So eight pounds, though. Wow, that's amazing. Wait, that's awesome. I love that you've researched that and found that out. Thanks, Brody. Whew. So what do you think? What have you got for today's image? Oh, All right. Nice. So I have you wearing the uh, clouds yeah. and the avocado tree without any avocados and oh, no. the book. With uh, avocado coming. With there guacamole it is. coming. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man, I love the colors, the shapes. I love how I'm on a bench right there. It's right in the foreground and the trees. Man, thanks, Brody. <laughs> Friends, today we get to find out how to say today's words in Spanish. It's time for Language Explorers with Miss Sarah. Hi, Miss Sarah. Hi, Weeby. <laughs> How many pounds would you eat in a year, do you think? Oh, you know, not only uh, guacamole, but I eat avocado just as, you know, I just open an avocado and I eat it. So, it does that count? Because, yeah, you know, yeah, once I, I so. eat it, it kind of becomes guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I, I also exceed. <laughs> yeah, right? Man, I just love it. You can't go wrong with a good avocado. Yeah. Yeah, they're wonderful. They so where I come from, which is the country of Ecuador, there is uh, no seasons because it's right in the equator. So we don't we have you can have the four seasons in the same day because we're in the Andes, so up there in the mountain, wow. and that's where avocados grow. 
So I'm excited to tell you some things about it, but let's start with the first word. Okay. The first word. The first word is bench. The w first word is bench. And in Spanish, you say banca. 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 I like it. Banca. Yeah. Nice. So I was I was sitting in a banca. Nice. That, that, the drawing you drew, I want to go sit on that banca. It looks cozy. <laughs> a nice banca, right? Yeah. Um, the second uh, words, or, you know, it's avocado tree. Oh, and the avocado yeah. tree, in Spanish, you would say árbol de aguacate. So aguacate, it has the word aguacate. Aguacate. And aguacate means avocado. Nice. Can you say sí, aguacate? Aguacate. Muy bien, Winnie. Oh, that's, that's Muy bien. It's... Arbol de aguacate. And I, I wanted to show you the arbol de aguacate because it is an, a, a very easy to climb tree, oh. avocado tree. Oh. There's females and males avocado trees. You got to okay. have both in order to have avocados. Otherwise, you just have the tree. And oh. and the avocado tree is so easy to climb because the 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 as you can see there, the I draw yeah. one. the 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 branches go like that, like almost horizontal. It's so yeah. fun to to oh. climb a tree. You got it someday. You got to try. Oh, I would love to. That's like the perfect climbing tree, right? Yes, it is the perfect climbing tree. Wow. And the last word is the word is a word that we have translated before. Is the word book, libro, 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 libro. So those are your three words for today. I love it. I think I want to have all of them here in no particular right. order. Oh, there they are. Yep. I love it. Oh, man. Oh, I want that 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 book, that libro, uh, the magic book. How would you say magic book, magical so, book, like book? Um, it's a libro, libro magico. So you can magico. have you can have libro. a bench under an avocado tree and sit there with a good libro magico. And I think you will have a nice story, too. That's awesome. I love it. Miss Sarah, thank you so much for today's words. Oh, man, oh, man. I love it. So fun. All right. Well, friends, it's time for gym time. I, oh, why didn't I buy? more avocados oh i'm so sad i was just saying oh. i ran out i ran out of guacamole and i've still got chips oh. you know like oh. does it ever happen you have like yeah. you have more chips than you do guacamole and then you just have plain chips and you're like yeah now what am i gonna do oh, and then I, I found this i was all excited i was like oh i found it. it's, a, it's a shaker egg Oh no! I thought it was a little avocado a little, on, the, yeah, a little one. on the counter, but it, it was a shaker egg. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so you know how you doing, Wemmy? How you doing, friend? How's everybody doing today? <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. I was thinking about that little avocado egg. I know. I was excited. I was like, "Hey, wait!" And then I heard it, and I went, "Oh, it went bad." And then I went, "Oh no, it didn't go bad. It's a shaker egg." I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. you know, one of my favorite combos is guacamole and chips. So I was thinking we can go to the grocery store. I want everyone at home to think of what's your favorite combination of two foods. What's your favorite food combo to, and we'll go to the grocery store. We'll pick it up. Oh, we're going to the grocery store with all our friends. And when we're there, we're going to get some guacamole and chips. Guacamole and chips. Guacamole and chips. When we're there, we're going to get some guacamole and chips. Guacamole and chips. Guacamole and chips. When we're there, we're going to get some guacamole and chips. Are you ready for another trip to the uh, store? Uh, what are we going to buy for? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, well, my favorite combo is hot sauce and anything at all because hot sauce goes on everything right all so right we're going to the grocery store with all our friends and when we're there we're gonna get some hot sauce and anything 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 when we're there we're gonna get some hot sauce and anything 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 when we're there we're gonna get some hot sauce and anything nice that's pretty good I, bro, I see Brody's got his hand up. Brody, what's ooh, ooh. your favorite food combo? 
Uh, mac and cheese. <gasps> Ooh, mac and cheese. Nice. It's a classic. Nice. I love it. Yeah. We're going to the grocery store with all our friends. And when we're there, we're going to get some macaroni and cheese. <gasps> macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese. When we're there, we're going to get some macaroni and cheese. <laughs> macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese. When we're there, we're going to get some macaroni and cheese. Oh, we're going to the grocery store with all our friends. And when we're there, we're going to get some vegetables and dip. Vegetables and dip, vegetables and dip, vegetables and dip, vegetables and dip. When we're there, we're going to get some vegetables and dip. Woo! Vegetables and dip, vegetables and dip, vegetables and dip, vegetables and dip. When we're there, we're going to get some vegetables and dip. That was a kind of tricky one to say. <gasps> did what else do we need to pick up? We need another combo. Miss Sarah, you got one? Uh, well, I like Korean food, so I would say seaweed and rice. Nice. Seaweed and rice. All right. Seaweed and rice. Seaweed and rice. Seaweed and rice. Seaweed and rice. When we're there, we're going to get some seaweed and some rice. Seaweed and rice. Seaweed and rice. Seaweed and rice. Seaweed and rice. When we're there, we're going to get some seaweed and some rice. That was a pretty tricky one, too. We're going to the grocery store with all our friends. And when we're there, we're going to get some cereal and milk. That's a classic combo too. It's another good one. Cereal and milk, cereal and milk, strawberries and cream, strawberries and cream. When we're there, we're gonna get some cereal and milk and strawberries and cream. Cereal and milk, strawberries and cream, cereal and milk, strawberries and cream. When we're there, we're gonna get some cereal and milk and strawberries and cream. Woo! Uh -huh. Oh, happy Wednesday, Joe! <laughs> You right. know, the fun thing about that song is you can play that game anywhere at any time. You just have to know how it goes. So we'll make one last trip. You can get whatever you want at home. You ready? Here we go. We're going to the grocery store with all our friends. And when we're there, we're going to get some. Whatever you want, you can get it. Throw it in the cart. No one's going to say no. Keep grabbing stuff. Woo! Woo oh, man. Thank you friends. Oh, that's so fun. I love that song. I love that song. It was so fun. And you know how I said you can put uh, hot sauce on anything? That's right. Everything that was just listed in that song, I was taking note. Yep, hot sauce will go on there. Yep, hot sauce goes on there. Yep, that'll work. Hot sauce on there. <laughs> so fun. So fun. Well, friends, let's see. Sibley, that funny Sibley, he's always got a joke for us. Let's find out what joke he's got today. <laughs> What did the avocado half say to the other avocado half? Hmm, um, I don't know. Without you, I feel empty inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's all about the inside. There's a, there's a pit, and then one side's got the pit, and the other doesn't. Have. Okay, hot sauce and chips, yep. Avocado and cream, yeah, that sounds so good. Oh, man, I love it. Let's see. Uh, we got our joke. We got our song. Oh, guess what, friends? We've got a song to share with you today by our good friends, Hamlet uh, and Alina. This song, guess what it's called? It's called Guacamole. And I got to tell you first, I've been singing this song since like the day I heard it. I've been singing it all the time, and I've tried so hard throughout the show not to sing it. And I did it because I wanted to, um, I wanted to let it debut here with them re singing it. So, friends... Here we go. Let's have Hamlet and Alina lead us in the song, their song, Guacamole. Hey, Hamlet, do you have the cilantro? Sí, aquí lo tengo. ¿Qué más quieres? I think that's it. We got salt, lime. Let's do this. Okay, oh, vamos. Oh. Guacamole. Guacamole. I love, love guacamole. 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 I love Guacamole, 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 guacamole. I love, love guacamole, 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 guacamole. I love, love guacamole. With a little bit of salt, with a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of cilantro, and lots and lots of love. Guacamole, 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 me gusta, me gusta el guacamole, 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 me gusta, me gusta el guacamole. 
guacamole En mis taquitos, en mis burritos, en mis huevitos y con mis frijolitos ¡Hey! Guacamole, 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 I've been singing that, like I said, for weeks. Guacamole, my gusta, my gusta, guacamole, guacamole. Okay, I gotta stay focused, friends. Oh, man, but those are our friends. Mi amigo Hamlet and Alina, and they're from Chicago. Oh, that's where they live. Um, Hamlet grew up in Guatemala, and um, Alina grew up, I think, in Florida, and she's got some Cuban heritage. And uh, man, oh, man, oh. So fun, so fun. Okay, I got to stay focused now. We did our song. Um, friends, we love books. We do love books. Let's check out what Joy Ann's got to share for today's Check Out This Book. Hi, everybody. It's Joy Ann from the Kent District Library and the Bookmobile. I found an ebook called Guacamole. It is a cooking poem, but it's also bilingual. So it's in both English and Spanish. So you can read the text um, in both languages side by side. Um, and the words are by Jorge Argueta, and it's illustrated, or the pictures are by Margarita Sada. And uh, all stages, there's a little... Um, section in here that talks about the recipe that's in the poem, um, that all stages of the recipe should be done with an adult or a caregiver's help, um, especially for our young friends who might be um, preschoolers and not using knives to cut the avocados and, and things like that. But um, this wonderful book just talks about how to make um, a favorite grandmother's recipe of guacamole. And so you start out and this little girl in the story, um, she's pictured here, really wants to just make this treat for her family. And so every step of the way, she tells you what she's doing and um, how to make it. And at the end, her family enjoys it and there's no guacamole left. There are so many great places to get guacamole. You can make it yourself, go to a restaurant, visit with friends. How about going to a Mexican fiesta? That's exactly what Moby did recently. It's time for On the Road with Moby. Anything is possible, anything at all. Oh, anything is possible, we just can't do it all. This is such a good day for a road trip. I got to go down to the Mexican Fiesta at Calder Plaza in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I had so much great food. Oh man, I put guacamole on everything because it's so delicious. 
want to go back soon. I want to have a fiesta every day. That would be so awesome. A fiesta every day. I love dancing to the music. I love being entertained by clowns. I love animal balloons. I gotta come back with my family and friends. We can do some shopping, so many great clothes, artwork, dolls, toys. Oh man, I love the colors, the fabrics, so bright and vibrant. I just love it so much. Friends, I hope to come down to another Mexican fiesta soon. Join me. We're at the end of the show, friends. We gotta go. It's time for the dance party. We hope you've been having fun. Let's get dancing, everybody. Oh, Miss Sarah's gotta go. I think. Oh, she's gotta go. But let's get Miss Sarah on quick. She's got places to go. There's little Brody. Thanks, Sarah. Woohoo, Jim. Friends at home. Thanks so much. Woohoo. Man, oh, man. Wimmy's Words is brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great, Fonterra by Smart, Meyer, and with additional support from these great partners.